So morning guys, just gonna take you all through a little bit of moving the body. Um, this is uh, a lot of moves just from my own teachers, um, just experimenting with movement, play, strength, cardio, um, and just putting it all together in something that we can do to help our mobility, um, to help create a sense of playfulness, um, and done regular, regular, goodness, it's early, done regularly, um, you can really see yourself build strength and also increase your mobility and suppleness as well. Um, by all means, this is not an easy workout. It is definitely as hard as what you want to make it. But in saying that, rest as much as you need. Each round is one minute long. You are taking it at your own pace and you choose to rest whenever it is that you need to rest. So firstly, um, we're just going to warm up the body. So we're going to, unless you want to join in, come onto your foot and we're going to start to move around the ball of the foot. So just starting to massage the ball of the foot here. And I'm going to move through this little routine quite quickly. Um, it can definitely be up to an hour. And again, this is not my own teachings. This is from um, teachers that I've spent time with along the years, take it back the other way. Um, and it's just been such a beautiful practice and it's now a regular part of my morning routine is waking up, meditating, doing my affirmations, and then doing this little routine here. So really um, just getting the body oiled up in that kind of sense as well. Let's change sides. So moving around the ball of the foot and just notice what you can find. So this might go for about 45 minutes this morning, might go for 40. Um, I'd say it's probably about 45 minutes, but you can always skip out a few of the movements if you want to do. If you've already warmed up, you don't have to do this little start bit into the choosing change the other um, to the direction of your foot, so to speak. Beautiful. From here, all we're going to do is just give the feet a little bit of a shake out. Cool. And then from here, we're going to push with the heel. And um, yeah, one of my teachers um, told me she learned this from the Fighting Monkey workshop that the Achilles is the biggest pump of lymph in our system. So we're going to pump the foot down and up. And yeah, apparently that this it delivers the biggest pump of lymph in our body. Um, so kids that are jumping all the time, uh, dancers, we as adults should be jumping and feeling good or dancing as often as possible. And when we pump the lymph through our body, it actually feels really good inside of us as well. So three, two, and one, give your foot a shake. Let's do the other side, hold and push the foot out, pull the toes back, push with the heel, squeeze the quad, really feel that lengthen through the leg and then start to pump the foot down and up. Notice the connection that's going on from the message of the brain to pump the foot and then the action of the foot. And notice if there's any delay here as well. So notice if it feels really awkward, like what's going on with my foot at the moment. Three, two, and one. Give the foot a little bit of a shake. Beautiful. Um, and then from here, all we're going to do is just come up onto the toes and then come back down. Come up onto the toes and then come back down. Up onto the toes and then back down. So toes and then back down. Let's do this a few times. If you want to do this longer, you're more than welcome. Beautiful. And then from here, we're just going to bring the knees just side to side. So imagine you're like a skier going down a mountain. So just a gentle side to side with the knees. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to come down. We're pushing down with the heel rather than lifting the heel up near the bum. So try to push the heel close to the ground and then do this a few times. So keep the heels pushing down so we're stretching the length of the Achilles. Good, and just go to your depth in the knees here as well. So listen to your knee joints, push down with the heel, so stretching the length of the Achilles. Start to feel those quads warm up here too, a bit. Let's go one more of those. Beautiful. Taking little knee circles here, just moving around. We'll only do this for a little bit, we'll revisit this. 
Take it back the other way. And now we're going to stand up nice and tall. Feet are a little bit apart. We're going to hinge into the hips, nice flat back. Straighten the arms and push the knees open. Bring the knees back together, hinge into the hips and stand. So coming down, open. Come back, hinge and stand. Do that three more times. Come down, open. Hinge and stand. Just trying not to rush it. Getting that really nice movement and fluidity into the groin, into the hips, and into that posterior chain, warming up the hamstrings. Beautiful. Talking of the hamstrings, it might just do a few little step and floats here. So just a single leg deadlift. Going up to stand. Keeping the standing knee bent slightly. We're going to nearly stop the the more you do it, the more familiar you become. Beautiful. Moving now to the hips. So we're going to stand up and just do some hip rotations. So this is, again, completely up to you. Be really nice and gentle if you're starting out into this. Especially if it's first thing in the morning, go really, really little. And then take it back the other way. And what can you find? Just keep going when you do rotations. Good, we'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take the hips in a side to side motion. So, like a, uh, my teacher describes this as a pirate ship action. So, we're swinging the hips down. And if that feels okay, up and around. And what we're trying to do is draw a donut with our hips. Um, but we're also trying to stay like we're between two panels of glass. So, up and around. Up and around. So trying to, my teacher describes this as if your bum is trying to wash a window. So you're really trying to move up and around and take it back the other way. So up and around and up and around. And trying to create that donut shape as you lift up and around so your hips create a circle. Beautiful. From here, um, we're now going to just stay into the hips. We're going to work into a posterior tilt. We tilt into an anterior and up and around like a train wheel. Posterior to anterior and up and around like a train wheel. So posterior, anterior and around. Posterior, anterior and around. So you're just moving the hips, trying not to let this go too much into the spine. So it's just this circular motion up and around. So posterior to anterior, and then can we take it back the other way? So up and around, just in the hips. Beautiful. Feet come nice and wide. So let's um, bring our feet to this sort of wide sumo position and just slowly and mindfully allow yourself to move around, exploring different directions, your feet stay very grounded here. Legs are squeezed, explore the range and keeping your hand on your hips if you can. This is one of my favorite ones. It's 
Slowly come back up to center and just heel toe your feet in. Beautiful. And then from here, moving into the, the ribcage, the scapula, push the scapula forward and then draw it back. Uh, sorry, it's the sternum. Push the sternum forward and then draw it back. So push the sternum forward, draw it back. Sternum forward, draw it back. So press that space, the heart open, and then draw it back. I love this one. Especially if you're sitting. It's a really nice one to practice and probably my favorite. All right, so with that, we're now going to shift the rib cage side to side. So it's a shifting motion, the hips are pretty steady. And we're just moving the torso side to side, the shoulders are relaxed. Now that we have that, we're going to combine the two, push forward, slide, pull back, slide, push forward, slide, pull back, slide, forward, slide, the hips stay pretty steady here, just move through the torso. Take it back the other way. Go really slow. The two tip is we're just we're so used to speeding things up. And when you move through this, you can really feel what's going on. Good, move into the shoulders and we're going to turn one hand up and then rotate. So we're just staying here for now. So we're rotating through the rotator cuff and the shoulder. So twist, twist, twist. Now turn to look at your open palm and then turn. So we're gonna slide the rib cage as well as we turn, turn, turn. So twist your arms here, slide your rib cage. We wanna keep doing this till we get a nice burning sensation in the arms and the shoulders. Go three, two, one. Beautiful. So roll your shoulders out a few times here, roll them back. And we're going to just do a few neck movements, chin to chest. And back. Again, and back. We're now just going to move the body a little bit more and start to roll through. Now, I was speaking to uh, Pete, one of my friends and clients this morning. Um, you actually feel the breath pump. So I want you to start in the shoulders and then feel this moving through the rib cage. And then as you get to the hips, you'll feel this lightness and then that might travel to the knees. And then if you listen closely, you'll actually feel a breath pump. So just gently open your mouth and just listen for what you can find. You got your own pace, 10. Three, two, one, and just a little massage of the body. Make two fists, just move to the body. So digestion, kidneys, inner thighs, glutes, lower back, kidneys. Shoulder, neck, back of the arms, chest.
little run on the spot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cool. Let's get into our movement. So, coming down to the ground, working through. I'm going to use a little timer here. Um, the first one that we're moving into is our hips. So, we're going to just start with a side swivel. So, the knees are just going to move side to side. So, we're just swiveling with one. <laughs> One foot on the outside, pick it up and turn and the other foot. So lift up, turn, yes, and then the other foot. So here and then here. Cool, so you're just staying with this movement for now. So lift up, swivel, lift up, and swivel. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so stay for this. So each movement is about a minute long. Cool, so keep going on your side, swivel. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, if anybody has any puppies that come and train with you, um, whether or not they completely get involved in your movement. All right, from your side to the come here. What we're going to do is stay in that position. We're now going to lift up and open up through the groin. So sit back down, swivel, lift up, open through the groin. So swivel, use your hand if you need, lift up, open through the groin. Swivel. Lift up, open through the groin. So a lot of hip mobility here, and we're just practicing of keeping it fluid. You, we had this conversation this morning too. You might find that some of these movements, as what I did, are really quite challenging. They look simple, they sound simple. We go to do it and we can't do it. And I want us to not beat ourselves up in that space. If that happens, can we just be kind to ourselves and appreciate the practice for what it is and go, okay, cool. Um, I can now spend more time to learn that a little bit more. Does that make sense? So be kind to yourself always. Beautiful. From here, we're going to stand on our knees. And we start to work into sitting back down over the heel. We're trying to nudge the knee open. And we're just moving now into our hips. Nice long spine, pushing down and sink over the heel. The upper body is really relaxed. You'll notice I'm not going any specific direction. So I'm completely just moving around. I want you to find the place that works for you. There's no right or wrong. Everyone's going to be different here, right? So you can even play with an internal rotation to come back, or you can just pick up the knee. Cool, so just find what works here. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to go kneeling get-ups. So in this warm-up series, I'm not resting at all between any of these. We're just trying to get our bodies nice and warm. So this next one, we step, step, and then down. We're going to take the time to just start to warm up the glutes. Now, if you want to make this one a little bit harder, take your time coming back down to the ground. So up, up, slow down. And then change sides. So one, two, slowly down. But just work, you're definitely not on my time. This is the thing, you are completely working in your own time. That's what's really, really important here. You rest when you need to rest. So play with different orientations of getting up too. So maybe you step to the side, lift, and you're just challenging your body, moving different directions all the time. 10, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to move back into the knee circles that we did at the start. We're going to make these a little bit bigger. So we're going to slowly come down and get down to the ankles. So turning, maybe you come onto the toes a bit. Squeeze the inner thighs and play with these knee circles. The depth is completely up to you. We're not pushing it. You're just trying to create a bit more mobility here. Let's take it back the other way. So start slow, start upright. If it feels all right, just start to change, play, different ways of moving, explore. You'll notice that the 
head and the hips change direction as the knees do as well. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two. Let's find a squat. Your legs should be pretty warm by this point. So we're coming to your Malasana squat and we're just going to do a squat and a reach. So you can reach forward, you can reach up, you can reach out to the side. It's just reaching anywhere, anywhere. So if you're picking up something cool, you're just trying to reach behind maybe. There's, again, please allow ourselves just to be out of structure. For the first time you do this, you might follow me exactly as what I'm doing. But the more you do this, I want you to just be on your own. So you start to learn what the movements are and then you just play with where your body wants to go. So keep going your squat and reach. Ten seconds. I'm just using this as a timer. Good. Three, two, and one. Down to the knees. This is our last one in the warm-up series. Is our cow and cats. So just working through our cow cats. You might even throw in a few arm circles here. Again, just have a play with that. Work through the spine. Come back to cow cat. Work through your wrist. If you did arm circles on the other side, do it back on the other as well. So noticing what's going on here with the arms, the shoulders, the spine. It's about 30 seconds to go. And we're going to, in 20 seconds, go straight to our first little pattern. So we're starting to amp it up a little bit, which will be a crawl. So you can always keep your knees on the ground to work through your wrists and uh, crawl if you need to make it easier. If not, we pick up the knees off the floor and we're just going to do just a, any, any crawl that takes you fancy here. So it's a little bear crawl, working through, turning on the core by zipping the belly up towards the spine. I'm not going too quick on this first one. We're just, just getting the feel of movement now in my body. So one minute on each of the exercises. So I'm not really structuring this crawl very much. I can go forward, I can go backward, I can turn around. But again, just for the video purposes, I'm just gonna keep it, just sort of more going one way and going one way back in some things. But I want you to think and remember that you can go any different direction here, play with moving your body around, getting into little awkward positions every now and then as well. Five, four, three, two, we rest. 15 seconds in between each. We're gonna come up to standing. We're gonna to come to our block. We're gonna to start to warm up through our glutes and our hips. So standing on the block, we're going in five. Soften your standing knee, come into the tripod of the foot. You don't know what that is, I've got a video on that back in the series. Let your floating leg lift up and we're just balancing here, that's all we're doing. So I want you to play, especially when you do this a few more times, I want you to really build that strength in the standing leg by playing with really coming into a single leg squat, right? You're nice and warm, your knees are nice and warm, your ankles, everything, your joints are nice and warm. So play with wherever this goes. We have one minute on this side. So already I'm starting to heat up a fair bit here. We've got another 15 seconds left to go. Play with an internal rotation. Soften your upper body, right? Try to let it be really supple here. Cool. Three, two, rest. Cool. Give it a shake out and move to the other side. So the more you do this, the more you'll find that you're building strength into that standing leg quad and glute, right? And you'll be able to get a little bit deeper and play with that single leg squat when we're ready. We're coming to the tripod of the left foot, we bend the left knee. Great one to really strengthen through the glute medius, especially if you're a runner or if you sit down a lot. You're also protecting or strengthening the VMI, 
on the inside of the knee, but more importantly, you're really using the muscles in the feet the way you should. From many, many years in shoes and sitting, we forget how to use those four layers of muscles in our feet and our fascia and connective tissues start to take over. And that creates a weak foot, which is gonna create weak hips and weak knees. Again, I've got plenty of videos on those exercise and strengthening. And I also have like a little ebook coming out, a little course on how to strengthen your glute meat and all of that will be in that as well. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in that. We've got five. Good, four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice work, all right. So we're gonna go straight down into our squat variations. So we're just gonna come into a squat and we're gonna move. Now you'll notice that I'm being, I'm just moving, I'm not holding a squat, I'm not going down and up. Um, I'm definitely not standing up though, so I'm wanting to stay low. And it's squat variation, so how can you change this up? What can you find? So we want to really create strength here by moving slow and allowing ourselves to feel where we're going to go. You're going to be different from me. So even if it's just walking like this, that's fine to start. And eventually you'll find different ways of moving, right? That really engage through the glutes and the core. Building strength, changing it up. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, woo, one. Holy. Cool. So, scap push. So, we're trying to work through this. We're protracting our shoulders and then we're going to depress. So fingers spread wide, plank pose, option to drop to the knees, arms stay straight, depress, draw the shoulder blades together, and the scapula together, and then push them apart, squeezing into the lats. Here we go. Draw them together, push them apart. Draw them together, push them apart. Arms stay straight, stay in plank pose. At any time, you can drop to your knees. Nice, strong, straight arms. These are challenging. You rest when you need to. You've got 30 seconds to go. Whoa. 15 seconds, I did these yesterday and I'm feeling it. Five, four, three, two, and one. This next one, if you have a mat, it might be nice to move out of the way. All right, lying side spin, these are super fun. All right, so we come down to the ground, we spin ourselves around and we hold. Spin ourselves around, and hold, spin and hold, spin and hold. So what we're looking for is control, not too much momentum through the middle. If you want a little bit more, spin, both hands come down, feet come off. Spin, both hands come down, feet come off. Spin, hold. Please take the option that works for you. Oh, super challenging. One foot goes down, 
play with landing one foot and then alternate. So you're rocking and rolling up, maybe finding a pistol squat, slowly coming back down. Please just work with the option that works for you. We've got 25 seconds to go. So remember, this is one of those ones, don't beat ourselves up if we can't do it. More so, take a message from it and go, okay, cool, how can I do this more? How can I practice this more so I can move out of rigidity and become a little bit more supple? Be kind to yourselves here. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Contralateral hold. Opposite hand, opposite foot comes off the ground. So we're going to stay in one place for this one today. Option, bird dog, knees and hands on the ground. And you work with lifting the opposite hand, opposite the foot. All right, if not, we are here and we lift up for a three to five second hold. Start on a three, opposite hand, opposite foot, and then back down. Cool. Don't worry if you're moving all over the shop. This is such a good one to practice. Keeps you very present, working the core, working the quads, and of course, all the muscles in the arms. Now, if you want, you can extend the arm and the leg out by keeping the knee off the ground. So extend and down. Um, keep going. This is not the best time. Oh, super steady. Try not to rush it. 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Okay. Uh, I'm probably about to amp up the intensity a little bit. Boxer split jumps. When we do these, the starting position is wherever you can get to down low. We're not up high. So this is your starting position, right? The first option is step. Step. The second option is to jump. We'll go in five. You take what you need. There is no, no magic number. You do what you can. So if you're jumping, I might do three, but I'm landing back down here and holding. Then when I feel ready, I go again. I might do four or five. But I stop and I rest down here. So I'm keeping the time under tension. If you're stepping, step, 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 rest. There is no certain number, you're on your own. 30 seconds. The burn is completely real in this one. Remember the stepping option is there, we've got 15 seconds to go. Might be one jump, might be two, might be four. Legs are squeezed. Notice I'm not going super quick here. 15. You should stay on your knees, stack your joints in that swivel. Four, three, 
two, well done. What's next? Oh, cool. <laughs> Seated row. Grab a bend. I can get these anywhere. Double it over if it's a thin one. Legs out in front, flex the feet, shoulders back, overhand grip, and we turn and twist. So overhand to underhand, overhand, underhand, belly is on strong, draw the shoulder blades together, keep the shoulder blades away from the ears, make it strong enough to feel it here. So strong core, 30 seconds. A fantastic exercise to do if you're sitting in a chair, driving on your devices, a great one for kids, phones, stuff like that. 10. Three, two, and one. Cool. Alright, we're going to work into our kick through. So with our kick through, we're going to come into our hovered bear first. We pick up the right hand and the left foot, bend the elbow, flex the heel, squeeze the quad, come back to hovered bear. Left hand lifts, right foot kicks through, bend the elbow, push into the hand, hovered bear. Opposite, kick through, bend the elbow, come back, hovered bear. Kick through, sit down, bend the elbow, hovered there. And just keep moving through with this. Once you get the hang of it, your bum doesn't have to touch the ground, but it'll give you that extra depth. Bend the elbow, kick through. Bend the elbow, kick through. Point, sorry, flex the foot so that your quad is squeezed when you're moving in through these ones. Keep going. Cool, 30 seconds left from the front. Flex the foot, hover back. Flex the foot, hover back. Cool, if you've got it, speed it up. 20, I'm not even. Such a great full body exercise here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, So second time through, we did this one twice. Big go around. Breathe. Going three, two, and one. Pull. Good. I want you to now really feel your lats as you pull. Really feel your lats engage as well. The belly continuously draws to the spine. Shoulder blades zip together. All right, not long to go here, 15 seconds. Should be strong enough to feel it. Even if you have a thin band, just double it over. If you sit at a desk, take your band to your desk and do this as often as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. That's nice right. Okay, so we're working into a little back roll. Now, if you don't want to do a back roll, I'm going to get you to hold a hollow body hold like that, or toes pointed. But again, this is just having this little play as you roll finding a soft back roll, and then crawl it back to the front. Swing through, roll. So allowing ourselves to find just a softness here. So letting yourself roll kind of over the shoulder, right? So you just gently tuck your neck in. You create softness within the spine and let yourself just roll. Just nice and playful, a little bit of active recovery. Again, just creating this softness. So through and then roll. 20 seconds only. So through. And just being as light, just practicing being 
as light and as soft as you can be. We'll go one more. Oh, nice. So if that's your first time rolling for a little while, you might find you get a little dizzy. So just take your time. It's um, something I'm practicing a little bit more later. I'm not getting as dizzy as what I was before. Cool. So now that we have done that, um, oh, three point plank. So let's get ready to sweat. We're going 10. It means that one limb will lift off the ground at a time, all right? Knees are an option. You can work from here. That's totally fine. We're going three, two, one, hold a plank. Choose a limb, try not to rush it. Now, little tip, bring your hands a little bit closer together than your feet. When you lift your hand, we're not looking for this, we're not looking to tip. You wanna keep everything on. That's why we're going super slow. The shoulders are stacked above the wrist the whole time. We lift up one limb at a time. Notice what happens when you lift a limb. What's your body wanting to do? Is it wanting to tip? Can you control it here? You're gonna sweat so much in this one. Fifteen. Try not to let that body roll. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy. Now this one moving into the hips, this can be quite nasty. Um, but if your hips are tight, if you sit at a desk, please, please take the, the time to practice this one more. Hands stacks down, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Foot comes up, flex the foot. I'm definitely going to do the timer for this. I'm not going to go over. <laughs> And we kick, bring it back in, kick, bring it back in. Now, if your hip flexors are really tight, it's going to find this quite angry. And that's okay. Maybe just hold it up here for as long as you can and then put the hip down. Hold it. You do not have to kick. The foot is flexed and we're trying to keep a horizontal line. You can kick forward. You can kick back. You can even kick down if you want to. But try to just keep it up for as long as you can. Do your best. If the hip is getting angry, rest it. All right? This is not about achieving an amount of reps. This is not about achieving a goal. This is not about perfection. This is the complete opposite. It is to get ourselves moving better. This is about mobility. This is about suppleness. This is about being soft yet strong. 10. If we find that there is a tight, it's an indication from our body to do this more. Three, two, one. Now, it's going to feel not so nice on the other side because I've already worked that side. So the hand comes down, stack the joints. When you're ready, lift up and we start to move. So great one for strengthening also the glute medius. Now, if you're anything like me, my glute medius is just fired on that bottom leg. I really feel my glutes turn on already on the knee, on the, the leg where the knee is on the floor, which is my left. Oh. <sighs> so it gets pretty hectic. We're not pushing with force with the heel. We're just moving the foot, moving around in the joint. Guys, we're nearly there, right? You're doing so well. There's a couple more to go, right? That's it. 20. So you rest when you need to rest. We need to be okay with that. We've just been in such a world where we have been brought up to go, you know, keep pushing on, keep striving. That's where you get your goals, you know. But we need to take that time out to rest because that's where we go. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay, tuck up to this it. One of my favorites. So when we're working to this one, um, we are going to, option one, hands behind, Work a V-sit like that. Option two, we're going to lift up and try and catch our legs. Option three, the legs will straighten. So join me now, we have one minute. So hollow, tuck, hollow, tuck. Do your best. Thank you, when you need to rest, you rest. If you can exhale on the way up.
toes, feet on the ground. All right, now with this one, you can do this lying down your back, pushing through those heels and walk out, out, in, in. Weight through the heels, out, out, in, in. If you want a little bit more, you come up onto the, <laughs> come up onto the hands and we do it from here, out, out, in, in. So join me whenever you're ready, whatever works for you for these bridge walkouts. Cool, I'm staying on one side here to start and then the next 30 seconds I'll move to the other. All right, the option of course is coming down to your bridge pose, lifting the hips out on the heels, in and in. Come here, good girl. Come here, okay. So making sure that the heels are planning down. Now change sides if you're walking out with your heels, so you're now leaning with the left. So out, out, in and in. So out, out, in and in. And my shoulders are completely done from my practice yesterday, so I'm staying here. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Four. Cool. One more left in the practice, guys. Alrighty. So we come into a hovered bear like this, right? And then we jump to a squat. So it's hover bear, jump to squat. So hover bear, jump to squat. Hover bear, jump to squat. Cool. The option is here, step, step, come back. All right, so your last one. We will go in five, four, three, two, one. Cool, last one. The light, 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 light. Get as many as you can, and then rest. Cool. All right, guys, big effort to finish. Let's do the best you can do. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it's super important for us to do that. I never ever used to know how to do that. Let's take a seat. Let's come back to where we started with our little hip swivels. Um, so this is what this program was about. I was in the chiropractor the other day. Bring the foot in front of the thigh and we're going to fold over the thigh. We're going to inhale, come up, change sides, fold over the other thigh. Inhale, come up, fold over the thigh. Inhale, come up, and fold over the thigh. Keep going. Inhale, come up. Yeah, I was in the Cairo the other day, and she would have been about 16, the girl in the other room, and she was already having back pain. 
already having hip pain, but she was doing so much. She mentioned she was running every day, nearly 10 Ks, going and doing a strength routine at home about an hour and then nearly 45 minutes worth of core nearly every day. She was only like 16. And our bodies should not be breaking. Our bodies are born to move, right? So when I heard this, you know, the car was like, you need to strengthen through your glute mean so you're not getting back pain. But it's really difficult to understand what that is until we can actually feel it in our bodies as well. So this is what this program is about. And I only learned how to do this myself probably only about, say, five years properly. And it's due to a big thanks to my movement practice and my movement teachers and also yoga. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, straddle the legs, and exhale, fold. Just inhale, we're not pushing here, be soft, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, fold. And inhale, and exhale, fold. We'll go two more, okay. Inhale, feet together, exhale, fold. And inhale and exhale from hold here for a breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Just going to your degree here, and letting your body fold. Breath in and breath out. Let yourself surrender here. One more breath in and exhale. Engage the core slowly, 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 slowly come up. Always stack your vertebrae. Bring the feet together or hip distance more likely, hands behind, slowly push up the reverse bridge, maybe let your head drop. And then back down to the ground. So that's it. So, um, so yeah, so you can take what you like out of that. Um, as I said, that's nearly an hour today, but I did go through the whole practice juicing and stretch, but you can, once you get to know the moves, you can then shorten it, you can do 30 seconds on each, or you can skip some, um, but that, the juicing part, or the oiling of the body, again, that should be done first thing in the morning, so if you think about it, do that, the first thing you wake up after some meditation, you know, I cannot stress how much, especially lately, meditation practice is changing the old, deep-rooted habits, that I had had for so long, just by sitting down in meditation, stating my affirmations, feeling into them and believing them to be true. So what that means is it is just like quashing all those old stories that I had, all those old beliefs, those old limitations, they are not true for me anymore. So I sit down, I believe and I feel into those. I write them down and things are changing massively over the last month. And I can't stress to you guys enough how important it is to wake up, spend five minutes in meditation, say your affirmations, and then do that little juicing routine. And then do this movement whenever you can. Namaste. Thanks so much, guys. Give us a heads up if you're interested on that little program on the glutes. I'm working on that now, so give it a couple of weeks. There'll be video content. Um, it'll just be like a little ebook style, super simple, just with exercise you can practice. We've all got enough on our plates. So I want to make this something you can incorporate into your routine that's simple, that doesn't take you long, so you can understand how to turn on your glutes to help your lower back, your hips, your knees, your ankles, and your full body perform better. Thanks so much, guys.